Okay, this is just a quick picture quality test of uh, an S-Video to RCA adapter cable. And I tried buying one of these online and I plugged it in and the picture was just horrible. It was really dark, uh, no color, you could barely see it. So uh, I went online and found a website that shows you how to modify a cable with just a little capacitor. You can kind of see it right there, just a single capacitor. And uh, just solder it uh, onto one of the connections and bridge that terminal over to the other terminal. And that's pretty simple. Now the cable did have two capacitors with two resistors in a little configuration and that just was not working. So I'll post a link to the site in the show notes but this is mainly just to show the picture quality uh, of the different cables. So I've got a DVD playing right now and this is the picture quality through a normal S-Video to S-Video connection from the DVD player to the TV. I'm just going to unplug that S-Video connection and this is the quality of the RCA connection. not much difference. That flicker is just the uh, phone that I'm using to record this. The flicker isn't actually on the screen. And now if I unplug that connection And then plug in this connection. So this is the modified cable. For the amount of money spent on this cable, it's about four dollars for the cable, and I had the capacitors kicking around. I think that's a pretty good deal. I've seen other devices advertised online for thirty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars that apparently do the same thing. And I've seen plenty of cables advertised online, but as you can see, the one that I purchased um, was guaranteed to work from an S video connection from laptops and DVD players and VCRs to an RCA connection to the TV. It did not work at all. So there you go, just a quick picture comparison.